written down a schedule yeah. and like for the next four or five days every day I have to do something yeah. but maybe we could take pictures in San Diego if we go or next weekend okay if we don't go okay so you have your questions ready mm -hmm. welcome back to the sweet and sour hour Sharice uh, where can people follow us you can follow me at Sharice Neal and you can follow Brown Bobby Brown at um, her brown eye Brown, brown Bobby. Oh, whoops, sorry. On Instagram and at Bobby Jean Brown. And I have reopened my Facebook page, um, Bobby Jean Brown, again, uh, finally, because I feel like it's I need it to promote or whatever. But um, mm -hmm. giving it another shot. I hope it doesn't get infiltrated. I hope not either, because it really sucked that yeah. it, that happened last time. Okay, so here's a question. Okay, what is it? Hi, Sharice. I would like to ask you two questions without bothering you. You don't bother me, guys. <laughs> You gotta get in the camera. You don't bother me, guys. Okay. All right, I got my glasses on, so that's not pretty. So no. Um, okay. The first is that you think. Uh, the first is that you think about. What do you think about prostitution, considering how things are today with respect to feminism? That's a deep question. Wow. Um, you like the Bunny Ranch? I feel like uh, in Vegas, if you or Nevada, if you want to go work at the Bunny Ranch, go ahead. Um, it's your body. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want my child to do it. I will right. say that, but I don't. Um, I don't judge. I'm not a judgy person. Neither am I. I'm just like if you're doing that, you probably really need money, and I and I feel a little bit sorry for you. Yeah. Um, some women are call girls. They get paid a hell of a lot of money to uh, go spend 15 minutes with uh, whoever. Whoever. Yeah. And that's their choice. And that's their biz. Mm, now, yeah, I don't judge. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, so th there's the answer to that. Yeah, so what do we think about it? We think it is what it is. Um, right. I want, wouldn't want my mom to do it, my sister to do it, or my kid to do it. But if you want to do it, go ahead. Don't yeah. care. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the second one is, um, how was Nikki Six when you met him? Hmm. How was Nikki Six when I met him? He was. Get in the camera, would you? He was like this. I remember how he, he was. He was beautiful. Him. First of all, I couldn't take my eyes off him. He was so gorgeous, um, with this perfect white skin and these like light green eyes and jet black hair, and and he was always dressed the part, you know, like like Vince wore op shorts and a t shirt and flip flops, right? He was not. <laughs> He was not dressed in the part, but Nikki would come to the studio in black shiny pants and torn t-shirts and a thousand bracelets and, you know, little eyeliner. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he was very interesting to talk to. He was well-read and mm -hmm. well-spoken. Um, mm -hmm. He had deep theories on things. You could, you could have a conversation with him, a meaningful one. And so I liked him for that reason. I couldn't do that with Vince. <laughs> Your own husband. He's like... You know, what's up? He's like kind of Spicoli, Vince. Vince? Yes. Yeah. He's kind of like Spicoli from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Totally, huh? Yeah. Not very smart? Um. Wouldn't call him a wizard. I wouldn't call him a wizard. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you. He's not he's, the whiz. He's not dumb, but he's not, um, he's worldly. Which, Same with Tommy. Tommy was not dumb, per se, but he wasn't. He's, they're worldly, so they well have read. things to say yeah. about you know, you could, you, you know, they're not up on politics. This was Tommy. Yeah, neither was Spence. But, you know, I was, when you're 21 years old, what do you talk about anyway? You don't want to talk. 24, yeah. You don't want to talk about, you know, deep things of the world, usually. Yeah. So, it was fine for then. Yeah. Um, right now, I would ha probably have a problem with him because I like people who stimulate me mentally. Mm-hmm. When I met Nikki, he was, um, same. He was, you know, but he was at his heavier phase. Yeah, he, he gains a little weight to time yeah. to time, and he tries to hide it, and he's very insecure about it. And um, his fashion sense had really taken a nosedive. Oh, really? <laughs> Do tell. Yeah, he, um, he'll, from time to time, try to, you know, I, it was, I was with Tommy when he dated, um, I mean, when they had John Karabi scene, and so mm -hmm. he was a little heavier and was still trying to hold on to the, the former, um, the former look, you know, like, he was like, should I, like, bleach my hair and start, I was like, you've done that, like, 12 times already, like, probably not, like and, the tips, 
Yeah, or he was trying to sew like the word fuck on the crotch of his pants. I was like, pretty sure nobody's going to see that. <laughs> like, you know, stuff like that. Was um, he with Brandy then? Yeah. Were you and Brandy hanging out? Yeah. Yeah. She, Brandy was cool. Yeah, Brandy's super cool. She was just very kind of quiet at the time. She's and, very quiet. And she laughed uh, at everything I said. Yeah. Yeah. She, that's her. Yeah. She's fun to have around because she laughs. Yeah, she and laughs. she giggles a lot. She, yeah, she laughed at everything. Even uh -huh. the things that weren't meant to be funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was laughing. So. I love anyway. Brandy. Yeah, Brandy's cool. Um, One thing that the guys used to make fun of um, Nikki about was that he would... Um, he would soil all the towels in the dressing room. Yeah. Apparently um, he liked to wipe his butt with it, and there's issues there. Yeah, um, there was um, a doctor had come out on tour once uh, because he had a rash what? that he couldn't get rid of, and um, the, the diagnosis was that he needed to shower more. That's it? Yep. Oh, my God. I'm like, ew. Gross. <laughs> That's gross. And he did well, shit on the plate on a paper plate and put it on the opening in the opening band's um, dressing room. Ew. I'm like, what's his deal with shit? Yeah. Who was the opening band then? I don't remember, mm -hmm. but I was like, gross. I remember back when um, the Cat House days, and Nikki and Ricky Rackman were best friends. Yeah. And my best friend at the time was living with Ricky. Yeah. Um, or they had just broken up something like that uh, it, who was it it's Brand, my friend brandy down oh okay and um i remember her telling me this might have been before her or right after her that she, but she had this knowledge she said that ricky and nikki had a bet going on who could fuck as many girls as they could and not shower between in that's between. disgusting and that nikki had gone 30 days <gasps> and uh huh, and fuck someone more one girl a day or more, and not washed his wiener, guys. That's disgusting. So how many? Oh. That's can you imagine how it smelled? Who would go down oh. on that? Who would suck that nasty uh, wiener? Oh, that was cat house days. If you're one of those girls, I'm sorry. That is disgusting. If you had sex with Nikki around the era of 1989, oh. yeah. That sounds disgusting. It could have been you. Could have happened to you. God, I, that happened to me one time with a guy, and I, I went down, and I, I was like, "Oh my God, why would you even let me even attempt to suck your dick right now? <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you thinking? Like, how dare you?" Was this a boyfriend? Yes. Oh, uh, was it someone I know? My ex. Oh. Yeah, it was disgusting. Ew. I was like, "You're sickening." The one you just said nope to? Yeah, nope. Mm. Hey, what are you doing? Nope. <laughs> That's hilarious. I know it is hilarious. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Nope. I just got a message that the car that I bought him uh, was repossessed. What? He didn't make the payments. Those nope. payments had to be little. Can you imagine after however many years and all the fighting and all the shit that I went through getting him that damn car? He got it repossessed. Oh my gosh! Why wouldn't you just make the payment? Is it on your credit? Not mine. Are you sure? Remember, he put it in his name. Oh, that's right. Okay, good. Thank God. But still, what a fucking loser. So now he doesn't have a car. No wonder he's hitting you up again. What a loser. He's like, oh, maybe I can get another car out of her. I replied, regressing. Regressing? Nope and regressing. Nope and regressing. I like it. Yeah, gross. Like, what are you thinking, dude? Okay. Um, a nice lady wanted to know, um, what happened to the single AF podcast? I really enjoyed it. Um, well, it ran its course, I'll say that. Uh, number two, what is your diet and exercise plan? Because you are, she wrote a fire symbol. Aw. I'm approaching 40 and feel like everything is falling apart. Okay, so if you're, when you hit 40, you have to work out. Like, you coasted maybe through your 20s and your 30s to look good if you had good genes. I don't, I don't work out, I need to. Okay, Bobby. Bobby is a perfect example. Bobby, if she worked out, could look exactly like she did when in her 20s. Because her legs are still amazing, and she doesn't even work them out. I don't know how you keep them like that. I don't either. But but if you're 40, you got to get to the gym. I mean, every, like, three days a week, minimum, if you want to still maintain your youth. Which gym do you go to? I go to LA Fitness. Still? Mm-hmm. The same one? 
Um, I go to, I'm a member of all of them, so wherever I live is where I go. I need to start going. But for me, it's, it's always been about a lifestyle because I've been doing this since I was 25 years old, like seriously working out. Um, my head's cut off. And I've always eaten like, I, my mom calls me a grazer. I eat little bits all day long, like a cow. Mm -hmm. So I never just come and have like a heavy meal. I'm like, oh, um, chips and salsa for lunch. Um, yeah. A cookie for breakfast with my coffee. Um, a nice sensible meal. Cereal at nighttime. Sometimes I do that, but I have little, I have little dishes. So nothing is ever a big portion. So portion control and working out, and you kind of can trick your body by working out into thinking that you're not a sedentary person. What so, does that mean? Um, it means like when you're old, you're sedentary. You just you like you're you don't get up. You sit a lot. Your yeah. body starts. I think I think that's a trigger for your body to start slowing everything down, yeah. shutting down because. You're not active anymore. When yeah. you're a kid, did you ever sit? No. No. You rode your bike. You rode your skateboard. You climbed trees. You jumped off um, yeah. roofs. You ran into the stream. You caught frogs. You were just busy all day long. Yeah. And so your body is just like, it's always, it, it thinks it's young. Yeah. And so that's the way I, I feel in my mind that I've tricked my body into thinking that I'm still young by just staying really active. Well, that's good. I need to start doing that, too, maybe. And water. Drinking a lot of water. Bobby, you don't drink water. I know. I don't. You left one of those big things here. Oh, is that where it is? Yeah, it's I in my bathroom. Okay. Okay. Um, what is that? Um, and this is something I do um, very often. I put, um, they're called emergencies, and it's a little... Uh, packet of tons of vitamins and 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C yeah. and I drink one of those every day usually when I'm at the gym every day um, when I'm at the gym oh so at three to five a week and I feel like it helps my hair grow really fast and my nails and it keeps my immunity um, pretty good I need to do that because my hair definitely to stop growing mm -hmm. oh god well so that's me oh, all do, right do, do you want another question yeah, we can do another question, mm -hmm. and then I think we are done for the day. <clears throat> Has it been an hour, you guys? I think so. You guys should see how we normally hear. <laughs> what, well, how we normally look? Yeah. <laughs> Not cute. Luckily, I had to see Dr. Ware today, but let's talk about um, Oksana and, and threading and all yeah, that. Yeah, so I don't have threading, but uh, you got it, mm -hmm. but I get um, fillers and Botox um, in my face, obviously. Um I need to go again, and I get it in my neck too. But um, Oksana mm -hmm. Fervovich is who I go see in Santa Monica um, for my injections. And um, what I love about the threads is that it it's like threads that they put little tiny threads that they'll put in your skin, and then your body makes collagen and forms it around the thread you guys and it fluffs up your skin again and it continues to regenerate underneath the skin so I haven't had filler in years you think I need that I mean you're just defy age you bitch I oh, know I don't yeah you do you look really, really good really mm -hmm. I don't need it yet no you don't not even in my neck um you have the bands but bands are hereditary I do, the oh really yeah but if you lost weight you'd lose weight in your neck so I think that you don't need to get threads I think you just need to lose more weight just lose a little bit of weight and then those will go go back down but yeah, I gained my weight back a little bit not much but a little um you might want to pause us so that I can find a good oh, one oh uh, I but that, pause us can you pause it yes taking a break. Oh, okay, here's a good one. Right, right. We should really time this. What if we're like an hour and ten some weeks? Some weeks. We've been, we've gone over about fifty-two last minutes. two shows. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna play music? Um, no. None. Not even Maybe at the end. end. At yeah. the end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or, uh, I played music and I said we were going to play music. I'll have to pull it. Mm, okay. Yeah, because I like to keep our male listeners yeah. happy too. You know? Yeah, true. Okay. Are you, are you ready? Nope. Oh. Okay. We not ready yet. Is that your favorite shirt? No. Why? Because you wear it a lot. I do? Yeah, you wear it on stage a lot, too. I wear it on stage because I think it's funny. Yeah, fuck off. 
Yeah. Well, it doesn't say fuck off. What does it say? It gives the implication. Oh, this whole time I thought it said fuck off. No. Oh, I thought it, it was like the F was tucked in your, your no. armpit or something. No. Oh, God. It's just like, oh. hey, it goes there. That's hilarious. Yeah. All right. It's not I, ready get up. I get the joke. Yeah. Still now? Yeah. No. Oh. Still not. Oh, How okay. many do we have now? How many what? Questions left. I mean, I have so many. I, can, I just have to find them. I just screenshot them as they come in. Oh. And they're not all saved in screenshots? Um, when I go to screenshots, it's many, many screenshots I've taken for the week. Like, very often it's it's um, decor, you know. Oh. It's, you know, some, some damn porch with some cute flowers that I wanted to save. Uh, stuff like that. Okay. Not yet. Mm. But maybe we can talk to them a little bit about... Um, you guys can always send us our questions. You don't bug us. We think it's it's really nice when you reach out. Bobby and I try to spend 20 minutes a day re responding. Mm -hmm. That's our goal. I mean, we get really busy, but at some point during the day, we like to sit down and, and answer for 20 minutes. So just, just be patient and we'll get to you. Yeah. I had some guy send me an email saying, like, uh, to you, like, hey, the girl next to you is 30-something too young for her to date. And I was like, send pictures. He's like, I'm not going to send pictures. You can follow me on Instagram, but I haven't checked them out yet. Is it, wait, say that again? Is it the girl? He's like, the blue-eyed girl sitting next to you. Is oh, she, he thinks is it, 30, it's me. No, no. Yeah, he, he thinks it's you. you. Okay, yeah. that he's talking to. Yeah. Um, um, okay. So. Hold on. I've got to get a new one. And. And here we are. Okay. So we have another question, and then we are done for the day. I guess so. Yeah. Um, all right. So, question. Um, how would you go about telling a coworker that she needs to leave the 80s makeup in the 80s? <laughs> she is like you, blonde, beautiful blonde. Oh, thank you. You can see her makeup from across the room. Blue eyes, blue eyeshadow, Ooh. eyeliner, bright pink lips, and looks like she was smacked on both cheeks. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I know a girl like this. You do? Yeah, it's a friend of a friend. So, we've discussed it. Me and the friend, who is friends with a girl, have discussed it. We're like, oh, ooh, she's so much prettier with... Uh, like, Without all that. Like a third of that makeup on. Yeah. And I'm like, why don't you tell her? She's like, I'm not telling her, you tell her. I'm like, I'm not telling her, she's not my good friend. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's any way you can say anything. It's the way somebody feels confident obviously right. is the way they walk out the door right right i don't think there's any way you can say it without them being offended uh-huh if they were your child or your best friend that's one thing yeah but if it's a co-worker i wouldn't touch it what about if you like write a note and sneak it underneath her desk I, but that would still be offensive um well let's um, you're so pretty, just thought you should know that you're naturally gorgeous and don't need all that makeup. Pe when people tell me that, people send me messages that I go, I always go, I do what I want. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. people go like, oh, you don't need all that makeup. You look much better without makeup. You Thank do, you. You do look really pretty without makeup. Thank you. I appreciate that. But I wear mm -hmm. makeup for myself. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. so, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's a safe way to tell anybody that. No. Okay. So, so to the girl, um, you just just look away. Yeah. <laughs> look away. Just don't look. <laughs> I, I think over the eyes, like I did for my fat boyfriend one time. Or, or how many? Oh God. Or how many people are like smile? Oh, I hate when people say that to me. Yeah. Why don't you smile? Why don't you fucking eat a dick? Why don't? <laughs> Right? Like, how stupid would you be to walk down the street all, hmm, I know. And a stranger goes, smile. Hi. Smile. No. You're dude. like, fuck you. Maybe I have a good resting bitch face. I, I must. Mm -hmm. People are like, why are you always posing? That's just my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my face. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, I'm never posing. <laughs> resting duck face. So many chicks. All right. So, guys, thank you for listening this week. <laughs> Um, to the Sweet and Sour Hour, send us your questions and follow us at Brown Bobby and Therese Neal. Yep. And uh, guys, people, send us your music to Sweet and Sour Hours. With an S. 
at gmail.com and thank you for all your submissions so far and, and thank you for your support you guys yeah. wrote us some very nice supportive like we don't mind paying 99 cents yeah you know we like spending time with you we don't mind supporting you that is so awesome yeah i mean it makes us feel like um we're not yeah. wasting our time no not not just that but it makes us feel like like we're a team yeah girl team so we we appreciate you mm -hmm. and have a great week yeah all bye right guys bye